Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to install a 21 pin Loke Pilot 5 in your Scale Trains SD40-2. So let's get started. So to get things started, all you're going to need is a few simple materials. This is thankfully a quick and easy process, as you're soon about to see. So all we're going to need tool-wise, small Phillips head screwdriver, you can find this in most hobby sized screwdriver sets, small pair of tweezers, and our 21 pin Lope Pilot 5 decoder. And if you do want to use another brand of decoder, it is possible, however you'll get the best performance and the best lighting output with the ESU ecosystem. So to get things started, we're going to make this quick and easy. We're going to take our locomotive here turn it upside down to the foam cradle. And the first thing to be removed are the coupler boxes. And this is quick and easy. Just take our screwdriver. Pull that free. Sit it in the coupler box in our parts tray here. And if you don't have a parts tray like in this cradle, a little cup or a napkin will even do the job off to the side. One hack for screws, if you have a tendency to lose them like I do, take your tweezers, unscrew it, and gently pull it out. So our screw and our coupler box are free. Now the shell is free to be removed. Take your time doing this process and just slowly apply pressure till the shell clears the chassis. Next up, we need to remove the DC dummy plug from the decoder motherboard. And this is where it gets a little easy, but I've also seen many people mess this part up. What I like to do, take these tweezers, slide it very gently under the dummy plug, and just gently rock it up and down. Over here, click, and you're in business. And in terms of getting the decoder in place, we'll take our 21 pin. Always be sure to orient your pins accordingly. Press it down into place and you're all set. Uh, one thing you will have to do with ESU decoders, we have two little dip switches right here on the motherboard. They need to be flipped up to the on position to take advantage of the keep alive and all the extra lighting functions. So we'll just take our tweezers, flip those two up, and that does it for the decoder install portion. With the shell back in place, the only thing we need to do now are make sure our sanding lines are clearing the trucks and then reinstall our coupler boxes. And that's it guys, this is a quick and painless process. Uh, one thing to note, when you first get your decoder installed, it's gonna be on address 03. And if you do wanna program the auxes and you have the ESU load programmer software, that can easily be done. But do know for the simple installs, like for the tricolor class lights, only one color class light will fire. Other than that, this is a quick and painless process and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video.